Hey guys, welcome back. This is Val Camera from Light. In today's review, I'm going to take a look at Enzo Cooley from iSource Textures for Genesis 8.1 female. This is a beautiful black female character and she looks adorable. And I want to take a closer look at, you know, you know how the she behaves, all the textures, all the options and because this character has a lot of character, so to speak, right? She looks really cool, and there's a lot of awesome options. And I want to take a look at them. All right. Here we are inside Dash Studio. You have also added Ethel hair to her. And I'm going to test her with different types of lights. First of all, we got the global illumination on which loads by default, but there's also a texture that loads here by default which is a smaller HDR map. So when this is applied, it doesn't use the global illumination system. It uses this small HDR map. And when you're rendering black characters that have darker skin, you want to increase the intensity. So I've increased that to twice right now to just see a little bit more detail. I can maybe go up to 250. So always when you have a darker character or darker skin for that matter, right? Um, it ties to any type of environment as well. You want to increase the sensitiv sensitivity of your camera. All right. So she looks really good um, on the details and all that. And what also impresses me, if you get a little bit closer, you see that the, the skin is not perfect. And I was talking about, you know, I made a video the other day about you know the five keys to photorealism inside the studio one of the things was imperfections and there was a lot of them and i love this stuff this is just exactly what i would uh, what i want to see out of a character now a thing that is not really impressing me so much though is the fact that when i get a little bit too close the texture becomes a little bit fuzzy it's almost like it's, you know, a little bit blurry and kind of loses, you know, uh, clarity, right, and details. It looks more like a little bit washed out, although there are details here, they kind of look a little bit washed out to me. Let's take a look at hands and fingers. Fingers look really amazing. And you can see the difference. The fingers have exceptional detail, right? Uh, but her thighs here are kind of losing detail when I get close with the camera. But her, her hands look amazing. Well done on that. Let's take a look on the feet. And same thing with feet. Feet look amazing, right? You can feel every single um, uh, detail. Just amazing. So that looks really, really good. However, uh, there is a difference, and you can feel that, right? The feet look great, but the legs kind of don't. They feel a little bit fuzzy, just like the rest, right? Slightly better, maybe, than the torso. The knees are pretty good here. But I just feel, you know, the torso is kind of lacking the detail we see overall. Uh, from this uh, it kind of feels a little bit out of detail almost right so a little bit too planar for my taste now let's get on to with the face let's get really close so we can feel every single wrinkle and face looks really good uh, face looks really good has great sense of detail um, so let's check some options here. We got here on the you know uh, Enzukule uh, uh, folder. We got some eye options and blind, blue, dark, brown, and green. All that. Let's try something on. Let's try this one. I think the brown looks really good. That looks more like almost like an alien thing, right? Really good quality eyes. 
blind. All right. So lips. Let's uh, check some options here. Lips look really good off the bat. It's a little bit fuzzy, but it takes a while to get some detail here right now. But it looks really, really good. Um, so we got default. We got the uh, purple. And the purple lips look really good. I love the color. But there is still this kind of... Let me just turn this off. Uh, this black outline here. That doesn't really look well. Because it's like a... Almost like a softer uh, brighter outline here and then there is a darker outside of that so that part doesn't look really good right the face itself it looks really good has great detail but again it's like the overall skin lacks a little bit of uh, i would say bump right or depth it's a little bit too planar it's a little bit too shiny let's take a look at the red Red looks really good, and we got this dark chocolate, almost chocolate color. Well, that one works well with the darker outline, but I would love to see that darker outline should not be there, so to speak, right? Because you have a brighter kind of outline right now, and then there's a darker, thinner line out there. Go back to default, makeup options, and this one here looks really good. I love this green. Um, that's a really cool color combination. Let's get a bit closer in here. Look at those eyes. That is really something. I love that. You know, it's great, great, great stuff. And you got some blue here with some additional items stuff at the edges here, right? Let's click on that. Let's pause while I'm waiting. This is really cool. I love this stuff. Very detailed. Looks nice. All right, we need to t test them all. We got nails. Uh, great stuff. I love the red and so forth. These are pretty cool, but I just feel it would be nice to have some more normal colors. And I like these extra details, of course, but you know, just plain a little color. We just have one, two plainer colors, right? I love more plainer colors here. Same for Tony's. Pretty much the same. Um, Alright. So, I'm kind of lacking an extra, you know, uh, uh, like a, uh, extra bump thing. There is no bump setting here. I would love bump, you know, more intense or, or normal. Because when you get close, you can feel this shiny look, right? And it doesn't look realistic. So you got HD details. Let's click on that and see what that means. HD details. All right. Well, I don't see a whole lot of difference. It still looks pretty much the same. So I'm kind of lacking that extra. Uh, you know, lashes. Let's click on that. I'm lacking that extra bump setting. So what you can do when you have your character selected, you go to surfaces and on your character here, you got a setting called skin that automatically selects uh, arms, body, ears, eye socket, face, head, and legs. And what you can do, you can go down here and you can increase the normal. The normal will add more detail. So if you click one there instead of 0.5, it will add more detail to the face and same thing you can do with a uh, uh, bump however as you can see the, there is no bump map added so um, just have normal maps I would love bump maps to be included which they're not now that we have increased the normal map it looks slightly better right there's more detail and you can further increase it if you want to go for two to add even more detail I would love for those uh, features to be more um, accessible from here rather than going in here so now you're exaggerating it this is really almost too much right but this is what I'm talking about you can break off that that uh, 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 solid look we had earlier and add more detail all right now a quick spin I, I've, I still have this exaggerated normal map let's go back to one 
Um, let's turn this off now. So by removing this, I'm now utilizing the built-in um, IRI Global Illumination System. And again, the skin looks great. There's great detail and all that, but it looks very shiny. All right, shiny and flat. Although there is a lot of detail right now, we can't exaggerate the, the, the normal map. Let's go back to 0 0.5. I feel there's a lot of reflections going on, right? So a great character, but there is something off with the skin and it doesn't really feel that uh, realistic. It's more like there is some kind of uh, plastic feel to it. And just like a, a, as a quick comparison, so I think this is a great model. Uh, she looks really great and there's some good options, but the skin looks a little bit weird to me, right? And as, a, as an example, I'm going to load the Gaia character I've been testing. Uh, I actually have, haven't been testing her. I've been using her in my uh, last few uh, videos about lighting tricks and all that, right? So I haven't actually done a review of the Gaia character yet, but I kind of have anyway because I've been using her and, and praising her, right? So let's load her as a comparison here real quick. All right, so we have now the Gaia character standing just next beside her. And looking at them side by side, uh, the Gaia character, you know, has, it just behaves differently. Uh, you feel that the skin is not, you know, kind of uh, solid, right? It just feels bumpy. It feels different. You can feel the details here. Although we have HD details added, this feels plain, right? It doesn't feel the same in the same way. It, it has more detail. So... I'm not happy with the look uh, of how the reflections and the skin behave on on this character. Um, and by just looking at the Gaia character, you can really feel all the nuances and differences. And so you can actually feel that right here on the promo images. The face looks pretty okay, right? But then here you can feel the flat looking reflections. They kind of, I don't know, there's something off with that. So all in all, I think it's a great character, and the only drawback is that the skin looks a little bit weird in its shiny, uh, on the shiny side, and lacks detail. As opposed to on the Gaia character, it just flows magnificently. You can feel every single thing. It's not the same. It has really nuances and differences, right? So the textures are not as good as on the Gaia character, and this is 8.1, so it should be better than the 8. 8 is, you know, um, kind of a, the, 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 the previous model, so to speak. This one is more advanced and should look more realistic. So, the last verdict is it's a great model, great options, skin, so-so. Um, and if you don't you know, mind tweaking it a little bit, then go ahead and grab it. Otherwise, I don't recommend you get it. Uh, there are other characters that look better off the bat. Face looks amazing on our Enzo Cooley character. The black weird ring uh, around the lips though is not uh, my favorite. The eyes look amazing and all that. So it's a great overall character. That's pretty much all guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to master Dash Studio, go ahead and check the link below. Now go ahead, have some fun with your art, and I'll see you soon again.